Hello everyone, good evening. Hope I'm audible and the screen visible to all of you. Yes ma'am, good evening. Thank you so much for the confirmation. Right, so we'll get started. Yesterday we spoke about conditional formatting. Yesterday, the day four of our training, we looked at conditional formatting. We looked at uh, certain options there like highlighting the cells, highlight cell rules, top and bottom highlighting certain members, data bars, color scales, icon sets. And we also saw how to write a rule, right? Uh, how to write a formula and define rules to highlight an entire row and manage the rules. So we, I just gave you all a brief introduction to the lookup functions. So the agenda for today's session is that we will try to understand about VLOOKUP with different variants, different options that it has, exact match, approximate match, VLOOKUP on expanding data. If time permits, we will also go and look at HLOOKUP today. So what is lookup? Basically, what do we mean when we say lookup, right? Uh, let's say you and your friend are having a conversation. You're, you're discussing about some topic and your friend used certain words which you couldn't understand. Let's say one or two words you didn't know the meaning of. So what will we do? If, if I don't know the meaning of a word that has been used, then what would I do? I will essentially have to go and look it up, isn't it? Look it up in a dictionary. So that is exactly what lookup does. Okay, so there is there are a few words. Let's say there is sorry. There are a few words. Okay, there is one and two, two words that have been used, which I don't know the meaning of. So what will I do? I will go and search for these two words and find out their meaning by looking up these words in a dictionary. So what am I searching for? I'm searching for this word. Where am I going to search for it? I will be, I will have to look for it in the dictionary. So this is your table array. Okay, the place where we go and search for the word is called the table array. And this is the lookup value. Okay, so this is the lookup value, what I'm trying to search for becomes the lookup value. And where I'm searching for it is the table array, which I'm calling as the dictionary in this case, because I'm searching for the meaning of a word. Otherwise, it is a table array. Okay, now what will we have in this dictionary? Obviously, this should be present over here, isn't it? Only if this word is present over here, if there is a column which contains a list of words in that column I will search isn't it I have to find it there so there has to be a common field in both the tables what I'm searching for should be present in the place where I am searching for it so there will be a column where all these words are present first word second third fourth all the words are present what else will we have in the dictionary the meaning of the word let's say there is one column that is holding the meaning of the word. Okay, let's say there is one more uh, column in my dictionary that has the phonetic representation. The phonetic representation to understand how to pronounce that word, the pronunciation of the word. So many things will be there in the dictionary, maybe something else, the synonyms, what other words can be used instead of that word, other alternative options to use uh, synonyms for it. Okay. So this is my lookup value. I'm looking up this value in my table array. And what am I trying to pull back? What am I trying to retrieve? The meaning of that word. Okay, which happens to be in the second column here. So how will Excel read the data is, it starts from left, it proceeds to the right, and it starts with column number one. The first column is called column one. Second column in the Excel is column two, third column is three, four, so on and so forth. Not A, B, C, D. Not A, B, C, D, which is the general name given to the column, general convention. No, in lookup, we say one, two, three, four. Okay. 
So I need to pull back the data that is there in the second column, which is essentially the meaning of that word. So that will be my pullback value, whatever I'm trying to pull back. From where? The column, column number two. Okay. And then after bringing it, there is one more thing that I have to specify. Do I need to search for an exact match? If I'm looking for a word, it should exactly match here, no? Only if it exactly matches, then I need the meaning of that word. So that is exact match, what we are going to use first in our training today. So I hope the concept is clear. Let's see with an example. Here I have some data which is called superstore data where we have um, different customers who come to the store and they place orders. In order to purchase certain products, they would be placing some orders. Okay. So from the transaction that they did, from the order that they placed, what is the selling price and what is the profit? This information is here. Now, some of these customers went ahead and returned certain orders. This is the complete list of orders placed with the business. Later, some of them returned the orders. Okay, so this is the returned order ID. Now, my client has given me the list of returned orders and has asked me to figure out or find out who are those customers who returned the orders. Find out the name of the customer who returned it and what was the profit that we made from the transaction. Because now that we are going to return it, we will lose that profit. So they would like to find out about this. Now, how do we get it? So what am I supposed to do? This is what I need to search for. Where am I supposed to search for it? In my original database. And what am I supposed to pull back? What am I supposed to retrieve? The name of the customer who placed that order and what was the profit corresponding to that transaction? This is our requirement. So I need to search for something. So I will use the lookup function. What is the syntax for the lookup function is, we start with an equal to sign, right? V lookup. Now, what is VLOOKUP? V stands for vertical. Because there are two variants, right? There is a VLOOKUP and there is one HLOOKUP. So, H stands for horizontal. Okay, when would we use VLOOKUP? When your data is arranged as columns, okay? When your data is arranged into columns and when you want to do a vertical search, when you're searching for your data vertically, your search runs down. Your search runs down vertically. It runs along a column. Then we go for a VLOOKUP. If your data is arranged into rows and you're, you're searching for your data running horizontally like this across the table, okay? horizontally running horizontally across the table then we go for h lookup so v lookup is when your data is arranged in columns and you're going down looking for the data you're going vertically looking for the data all right v stands for vertical lookup and h stands for horizontal lookup now um my screen is fully zoomed in in fact i have even increased the uh, resolution here to almost 170% it's, it's pretty zoomed in. You may have to readjust your screen. Okay, Swarupasya, please check once. Right. All right. So how to write this lookup function? What is the syntax? It starts with equal to V lookup. And the moment I open the bracket, you can see the syntax lookup value. What are we trying to search for? The word for which I didn't know the meaning. In this case, the order ID that has been returned. And where am I supposed to search for it? I have to look for it in my dictionary, right? The word whose meaning I don't know, I was looking in the dictionary. In this case, it is a table array. What is the table array? The complete data that is present in this sheet, the other sheet. This is my base information or the complete list of transactions placed. Okay, so I'll just select all the data. In this complete data, the whole data is highlighted. If you see, I'm supposed to look for this value, table array. And then now I'll move on to the 
formula bar. Over here, we can continue typing. So you can see that we are bringing our lookup data. I mean, the table array is in a different sheet. That is why you can see the sheet name with an exclamation mark. Then you can see the data range. Okay, in this range of data, I'm supposed to look and what am I supposed to pull back? Okay, what am I supposed to pull back? That is the column index number. And remember, it goes from the first column. This is number one, this is number two, so on. What are we trying to pull back in our case? The name of the customer. So I'll have to give column number as two because that is in the second column. The next parameter or the next argument to be given is the range lookup, which is, is it true or is it false? Now I need to match the lookup value. I need to uh, get the name of the customer provided the order ID exactly matches what I'm trying to look for. Is it? It should be an exact match of the order ID that I'm that that has been placed. So we will give false. All right. Now once I do this and hit the enter key, you can see how it has pulled back this the name of the customer. This is the order, right? One double zero eight six seven. One double zero eight six seven. This is the person who returned that order. Let's do it one more time with profit. This time I'm trying to pull back profit. We look up. Okay. What am I trying to look for? I'm trying to look for this value. Where am I looking for that value? In this range of data. So control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow to select the complete range. We can even go back and continue typing here or we can continue typing in the address uh, in the formula bar. So I'll continue here. Comma. Which column are we trying to bring back? Oh, this changed. One moment. I'm trying to look for it over here. Okay. Comma, what is the value that we are trying to pull back? Which column this time? Profit value. Right. I'm trying to pull back the profit value, which is column number three. So I'll give three, comma. Again, provided it is an exact match. So I'll have to use false as the last argument. And I will hit the enter key here. See, it pulled back nine. Okay, then how do we copy it down? By doing a double click, but it will not work. Why will it not work? Because of relative referencing, right? It's not working properly because of relative referencing. I'll undo that. See, no matter what is the order ID given, we have to look in the constant range. The range is constant. Range is not changing, isn't it? We have to look for it in this range. But now if the range is relative in, and, and that moves down, it's not the correct thing. That is why this has to be made absolute reference. So I'll just lock the column and row in place. Okay, now that we have used absolute reference, even if I copy it down, it'll work. Looks like it is taking some data over here because of these two. Anyway, I will just delete these two. Okay, so let's see this order ID 12634. Uh, Manually, I'll just check one. Sorry, 126634. Here, 126634, Alan Barnes. And we got that. And profit is pro profit, I didn't copy it down anyway. So, okay. So till here, I hope it's clear. We're basically searching. Now, there are other ways in which we can do a lookup. Rather than typing in the lookup, what we can do is we can also insert a lookup function from the formula ribbon. So I will go up here to formula and I'm going to insert the function. In this cell, I would like to get data by using the lookup function, which I'm going to insert from this insert function option that is there in the formulas ribbon. Let me click on insert function. Here I have the formula builder. I would like to search for V lookup. Okay, this is what I want. And this I did a double click on it. Okay, so first is what? It, it, it's just like the syntax that we use, right? What is the syntax for the lookup value? We need to give the lookup value here, which is present over here. So if I go and simply click in this box, you see the reference has come. And then the table array, where am I trying to search for it? 
I'm searching for it in some other sheet. So I'll go to that sheet and select the complete range. Okay, table array is here. And which column am I trying to bring back? Column number two that is present in this array. And should it be true or false? It should be false because we are going for exact match. We need to fetch provided we get an exact match. We can either type in false or instead of typing in false, we can also give zero. Zero is equivalent to false. Okay, you can either type in false or you could simply give zero because zero means false in this case. Okay, so once this is done and I click on done, you see the result is already showing up here, Alan Bounce. So once I click on done, you can see the name has been pulled back. Okay, so we can also do it by inserting the function from here. I'll do a recap quickly one more time. I'm going to insert the function by clicking on the insert function icon on the formulas ribbon, which opens the formula builder. If it's a Windows machine, you get a pop-up. On a MacBook, it comes to the side here. This is the function I'm trying to use. So once I select the function, you see the syntax of that function, the arguments necessary for that function have come up. First, the lookup value. This is the lookup value. Next, the table array. I would like to look it up in this particular sheet by selecting the entire data. Next, the column index number. This time we are trying to pull back profit. Profit is in the third column. Finally, finally the range, uh, look up which is the logical one, meaning is it true or false? True means what? It would be an approximate match. False means exact match. We can give zero for false. And you can see it has already uh, obtained the result. It's showing as a preview of the result that it will be 40. Now, once I click on done, you can see how it has brought it back. All right. Yeah, we are doing multiple examples on uh, referencing itself. Yeah, absolute referencing is possible even on, even on the formula bar. You just absolute referencing means what, Mohan? It simply means that you're locking a cell in place or you're, you're locking a range in place. So if I go here, um, let me just close this. So how did we build this? How did we build this? Isn't it? By writing the uh, lookup function. So here it is relative reference. So if I copy it down, it will not work properly. If I have to use absolute reference, I have to simply put dollar sign over here. You see, in the formula bar also, we can use absolute referencing and lock it, lock things in place. 